Ever since I got into this world of self-improvement, I've always looked for ways to be more productive. I watched all the experts here on YouTube, read books that were recommended, and adopted a pour-over coffee diet that I hoped had some magical effect on my productivity. A lot of the advice I found was helpful, but there wasn't one single answer that revolutionized my output and made me a productivity genius. Having said that, I was able to test out numerous different strategies. Some more complicated than others, but it did improve my output. These are a few ways I stay the most productive. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here, we talk about minimalism and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Let's get started. And before I share any of these things that I do, I want you to just take a second and forget everything you know about productivity just for the duration of this video. Because I think it's important to see some of these things with a completely fresh outlook and just forget how obvious or backwards some of them might seem at first. The first way was the simplest and that was changing my location. I used to be and still am a believer of having a dedicated workplace, but I can appreciate the effects of switching up where I decide to write or edit. Going somewhere that isn't in my usual cycle of spots has kept me a little bit more creative and quite literally has given me a new outlook on whatever I'm doing. A good example of this is a few months ago I went to a coffee shop to edit a video. And up until that point, about 99% of my videos were written and edited at my desk. But something about the change in atmosphere was really inspiring, even if it was just a coffee shop. Being around strangers and just breaking my simple routine for a while was refreshing. Aside from helping me creatively, I think going somewhere different to do something the same is a good way to keep me on my toes with my work. Oh, spiderweb. Fuck. I need you to check me. So I saw a really cute little bunny rabbit hopping around and as I was approaching it to get some footage, I walked right into a spiderweb and had a quick menti bee as Matt Tivella would say, and scared it away. So I'm gonna try and get some good footage of other stuff here at the park and maybe find that rabbit again. When switching up my workplace just isn't an option, the next one is, and that is to not multitask. In the early stages of trying to become more productive, I was led to believe that taking on as much work as possible and grinding it out was a part of being productive and just success in general. In his book, Essentialism, Greg McEwen talks about the importance of only doing things that really matter to us. Instead of thinking, I have to, think, I choose to. <laughs> Juggling a lot of different projects I was working on conveyed the image that I was productive, but I felt overwhelmed and nothing was getting my full attention, leading it to never feeling like my best work. And a great example of this is some of my favorite YouTubers. A lot of them only post videos a couple times a month or maybe even once a month. But when they do end up posting their videos, I can easily see why. Whatever they make is amazing and it's easy to see the time and work that goes into it. And this is a prime example of less but better. It'd be wrong to say that multitasking is never an option because sometimes it is. The point I'm trying to make here is never be too busy just for the sake of being busy. The last thing here is set smaller goals. Something that often hindered my ability to get things done was not having a plan or not having realistic goals set. I often set expectations for myself that were just unrealistic so I wouldn't feel so guilty when I inevitably failed. It didn't matter if it was a mile long list of chores or a list of errands that I needed to run I'd pile everything I needed to do on one unlucky day of the week and just go from there. I knew I was always doomed from the start, so I always wondered, why even start? I won't get done anyways. And I'm going about this a lot differently now. I give myself a maximum of three work-related things or errand-related things to do per day. And this was a game changer for me. 
After making this decision, work seemed manageable. I wasn't overwhelmed and I was confident that I can get things done. Of course, I'd gauge the difficulty or the time cost of these tasks and not give myself two more things to do if I knew one of those things would take all day. Basically, I'll just do what's logical. If I know I need to paint my room, which for some reason took all day the last time I did it, I probably won't go get an oil change or grocery shop in the same day. The main takeaway here is that I'm giving myself realistic, achievable goals daily that are actually getting done. There are plenty of things that I do to stay productive, too many to go over in one video, but these were the few that I found to be the most effective. Everyone's gonna have their own preference on how they like to do things and their own opinion of the way I do things. So take this advice with a grain of salt and tailor these habits to your own needs. As always, I appreciate the time you spent here watching and I hope you got some value or inspiration out of this video. If you did enjoy this video and you do like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.